this is Kay from Mad Main, and today I was going to show you how I make a four wood background when I take eBay pictures. Now, when I take uh, pictures uh, on eBay for items that I sell on eBay, I just use these um, poster boards that I get from the Dollar Tree and they cost one dollar each. And I have some white ones and I have some black ones and I used to have um, a four wood one, but that one has gotten broken during a move and now I'm going to make another one and I just want to show you how. All you need are some poster boards and these are actually some ones that I've used that have marks and dents and everything because I have used these a lot. So I have changed those out and now I am going to simply cover them with contact paper that I did buy at the Dollar Tree. One dollar a roll, so this is two dollars and I'm just going to cut it to, to paste and um, there you go. So let me show you really quick. There is really nothing to this. When you roll this out, you get this really cool fall wood uh, look right here. And on the back, it even gives you everything you need to cut it straight. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it so much that I can cover the poster board. Then you just uh, tear it apart like this. So you leave the sticky side down, <laughs> rather the sticky side up. Here it is, and I just think it's easier to s simply stamp my poster board downwards. Just press down very nicely and turn it around. And here it is, and you can just kind of um, squeeze out any bubbles that you have and cut a little bit more if you need it bigger because wood is very forgiving because it has all those natural lines. So I'm going to put another strip up here and you won't even tell because of the wood line, wood grain. one little corner to go but you can see how here that i just splice some extra you know it kind of looks this looks like a continuation so like i said very forgiving on this contact paper okay so i'm all done with one side you know see how cool you can hardly even see where i spliced it almost looks exactly like my wood table over here and that is the point so now i'm going to do the other one so you can see the full wood background setup a couple of bubbles here i still have to squeeze out no big problem Okay, so here is my regular setup. I use this for about 80 to 90 percent of my photos, just two whiteboard posters. There's a lot of sunlight coming in right now, but now I have some wood ones. So when I do want a little more rugged, uh, striking background for some items, uh, let me show you what that looks like. And here it is, just two white used, actually beat up foam board uh, plates and just covered with this uh, wood contact paper and I'll just show you uh, one of the things that I think I might photograph on this sort of ra rather rugged but pretty background. Okay here they are aren't they beautiful? Of course I live in Maine so I do have sometimes uh, the chance to come across these uh, standard Maine bean boots and these were on sale so I paid half let me see I paid half of that price right here and they are in a great big size I got some laces here, but for something like this, I think that this wood background, you know, kind of makes the whole thing even more striking. So that is how you can make a very, very cheap and efficient uh, wood backdrop for some of your pictures. It costs nothing. You know, I had these boards, but even if you didn't have these boards, all of this would be $4. It took me less than 10 minutes and you have something you can swap out, you know, very, very simple. And you can just, you know, if they get a little rowdy and they break and everything, it's super easy to just replace them. So let me know. Um, I have more of these tips, you know, and uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I will make more of these uh, things as I go along. So until then, I hope you all have a good time out there treasure hunting. Bye from Kay in Mad Maine.